three easy embodiment practices to help you awaken your feminine energy. One of these practices is going to surprise you. So embodiment practices. We're talking about you bringing your essence to form. We're talking about you manifesting your soul in the world. Hi, I'm Morgan A. Cecil, feminine embodiment coach, creator of the feminine wholeness method. And welcome to my channel. In the feminine wholeness method, we talk about three ways of knowing head, heart, and honeypot the wisdom of our mind, body, and spirit. So I'm going to give you three easy embodiment practices to help you activate head, heart, and honeypot so that you can awaken your feminine energy and feel so connected to your wholeness. Two of these practices often never get taught, which is why I'm so excited to bring them to you because they're really simple and they're really powerful and important for every single woman to be practicing daily. My guess is one of these practices, you're going to be like, whoa, I never even considered that embodiment work, but it so is. The first is a movement. The second is a sound. And the third is something I want you to do with your eyes. The first practice, super easy, super fun, is what we think about when we think of feminine embodiment. It is movement medicine. It is spinal undulations. It is hip swirls it is anything and everything that gets your body moving into curves that gets you into the shapes of hmm, letting the honey in the honey pot get stirred up so if you have a yoga mat you can come down on all fours and do your cat cows you can even just sit in your chair and do some hip swirls this is movement medicine and we're focusing on waking up the energy in our honey pot and bringing some fluidity, bringing some motion to our spine. We want things moving and grooving. That lubricated spine is key to youthfulness. It's a key to feeling free in your body. It's a key to feeling good in your body. And the way we lubricate our spine is by spinal flexion, spinal undulations, bringing breath, bringing waves, this vibration, this movement, which happens through dance, which happens through swaying, which happens through cat cows and yoga. So I want you doing that every single day. The second really easy embodiment practice is sound. So this often gets overlooked. We don't think about sounding as embodiment, but it is. The sound is being created by your body. A lot of the women that I coach come to me because they don't feel free. They feel like their words get stuck in their throat. They feel like they can't speak their truth. They feel like they can't show up in the world as powerfully or as confidently as they really want. Speaking from your wholeness is a really important embodiment practice. Hi, my name is Morgan and I'd like to talk to you about feminine embodiment and um, uh, speaking confidently. Or, hi, my name is Morgan. I'd like to talk to you about feminine embodiment and speaking confidently. One thing I teach my students, part of the feminine wholeness method, is just to say, I am, I am, I am. Speak those two words from the ground up. One easy tip is just to bring your register down a notch. So speak a little bit lower. You can imagine speaking from your roots in the earth and see how that shifts your sense of self as you're speaking. Another thing you can do is just vocal toning. Uh, you're just sounding, allowing those vibrations to start break up that stuck energy that is keeping you silent and keeping you small. The third super easy, super important embodiment practice to do daily is your gaze. Your gaze is how you see the world. So this is something I want you to do with your eyes. I want you to soften your eyes. And what happens when we soften our eyes is that we move into a more feminine experience of our own energy. An experience that feels calmer, that feels more at ease, that feels safe just to be here. A soft gaze practice is also known as open focus. And when we practice soft gaze, we are activating our parasympathetic nervous system, which is really powerful and a doorway into our feminine energy. So let's practice right now so you know how to do it. Bring your hands up to the side of your head, wiggle your fingers, and just notice what's in your periphery. 
notice that you can see your fingers wiggling. Just being in that gaze is going to automatically bring you into a more calm and receptive state. It's the opposite of what we are normally doing, if you think about it, which is really focused in like staring at a screen, right? <laughs> we are focusing at a really narrow point. This relates to a more activated nervous system that is more hypervigilant, activated and focused. Both qualities are important, obviously. We want to be able to move back and forth fluidly between a focused state and an open state. If we want to experience more of that feminine energy, which is more of a receptive energy, then practicing the soft eyes helps us get there, which is just like, yeah, I'm cool just being here. I'm enjoying just a view. I'm watching the sunrise. I'm watching the sunset. I'm watching my kids play. I'm noticing and observing the conversations and the people and the beauty before me. And there's nothing to prove. There's nothing to fix. You don't have to figure anything out. You just get to be. Just sit back, relax, and let the wholeness come to you. Let the world come to you. Step into that magnetic feminine energy and just be. I use these three embodiment practices every single day. They're so easy. These are easy practices that you can weave into your mundane routines. Movement medicine, vocal toning, and three, soft eyes. Thank you so much for being here and let me know which of these practices you're going to try first. Grace and peace and I'll see you back here soon.